that were the worst, and I can't remember what they specifically were. I mean, I've chosen not to even try to like yeah dwell on that, but no. But I'm just saying that. (laughs) Well, I don't remember anyway. But like the (laughs) what that part out. No, no, no. (laughs) Well, I just want to say the word the the word the part the words that were the worst were the ones that took shots at me, my character, who I you know as a man, um, stuff that I I honestly I. I didn't believe I, you know, I wasn't believing that she was right or accurate or even truly meant them, mm-hmm. but still that caused that like stir in me to be like, how could she possibly say that? You know what I mean? And it emasculates you as a man and that's mm-hmm. dangerous. I mean, couples are going to fight. But it leads to pride. I mean, there's on, on both ends, not only am I creating something and doing something, but then it might lead to like, you know, out of hurt and fear that creates, you know, possibly pride in there. So it's just a dangerous back and forth thing it's a like a bad tornado i mean you're not gonna couples are gonna fight we get that but i mean this was this was beyond that um Mm -hmm. and it i show you know it to me it's kind of she mentioned it it's like how can i lead this woman like what like am i am i incapable of of Mm -hmm. being that guy for her i mean how could she possibly think that you know i mean there was just a lot going on in my head confusion uh may have helped me kind of block out some of the things that she had said mm-hmm. but um you know then we we went through the process we've talked before about how we worked through it but um the key thing is, is you know when you are disagreeing and you are gonna get in arguments it's don't take those personal shots uh don't take them at a man's character mm-hmm. i mean as and as yeah. a guy i mean i obviously the same thing i can't take them at her as well but uh, a woman's right. words are very powerful a wife's words are very powerful to her husband um and I, I would imagine most people already realize that. They may have not, mm-hmm. you know, learned from it, though. So, Lindsay, you know, we talked about uh, pornography, that uh, it's, an, it's an issue that, as men, we have to be vigilant against because that temptation is there. Right. In this situation, is the temptation still there to, to throw out some words? To lash out? Yeah. No, I really... You would think it would be if that were maybe a pattern that were being set up or if I was using that situation and kind of going back as my, that was my MO, that was my motivation to get at him. Um, But I really, I think that unfortunately that situation, um, I feel like it was isolated. I feel like it was kind of on its own because I think even in the way that we might argue or the things that we might be discussing, um, it's not my motivation even now to lash out and attack him uncertain situations so for me I feel like it was just kind of that incident Um, and again that should just be a lesson in itself when you you know have too much to drink or you abuse on anything it's gonna cause you to do things you really regret later on Um, but no I I try really really hard to not let it get to a point of getting like that ever again or using anger yeah because I think we we can all get there and and I think you made a couple good points it hasn't been a pattern for you and that that's shown up and then if somebody's watching this and it is a pattern then Mm -hmm. really they probably need to get help counseling something so that you break that pattern because if you don't over time Mm -hmm. it's going to destroy your marriage yeah we talked about it it's better to um can't point out the scripture believe it's I believe it's Proverbs where it says better to live in the desert than with a nagging wife. Mm-hmm. And she that's by no means yeah. what she is or what she was. That was one instance that was really bad, which really the root cause of that was something completely different mm-hmm. um, than anything I said or even, you know, her drinking too much. It just brought this to light. But, yeah, I mean, if it was a if it's a constant problem in a marriage, like I can guarantee the women mm-hmm. that it is dragging the men down whether they would want to acknowledge it or not because we're oh we're tough mm-hmm. we're strong we're yeah. you know yeah if it were a pattern you definitely it's gonna it's gonna heighten so exactly. to think it's just okay or that it's not gonna get worse that's a false myth it's good mm-hmm.